Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one for you. So guys, so we all know that all these chicks are out here getting these PhDs and these masters to try and be strong and independent. I am woman, hear me roar, in numbers too big to ignore. Clown world. <laughs> and guys, 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 it's not just the crippling amounts of debt, right? Or the, the fact that they waste their prime years getting these stupid, useless, Agrees an underwater anthropomorphic lesbian dance. <laughs> it's the attitude that comes along with it. Why would any guy date a chick who has a PhD who thinks that she's just God's gift, that she's smarter than everyone else? And guys, put in the comments if you've ever dated a chick who had a PhD. Guys, everything's an argument. And everything is this granular, oh, you have to understand the semantics of the an analytical blah, 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 right? Even the most basic conversation turns into... <laughs> so guys... Go to a dumpster fire known as TikTok and look at re re reasons why you don't date chicks that have PhDs. But before we do, guys, like, subscribe, drop a comment because it really helps keep this, this channel going. Check out my second channel, my locals, the playlist at the end. And guys, I know, I know, I know, guys, you might not be able to understand what this person says. So I know that I need to translate. <laughs> Silly Jedi. <laughs> and guys, guys, you know there are chicks that have to, that they have to get PhDs, right? Cause you know she's not having a bunch of rich dudes trying to throw any money at her. Come on. Look, I have a piece of underrated advice for anyone starting their PhD or any rigorous degree program. Cut them toxic people out of your life. Listen, your PhD is like the epitome of stressful. It's rewarding, especially if you're a naturally curious person, but it will test you to your limits. And you're going to want a community around you that fully supports you and that you can lean on, especially if your grad program is full of people who don't look like you or share your background. Please. So if you're struggling with a very stressful relationship, platonic or romantic, my advice is something has got to give because that stress will feel so much worse when you have a whole degree to juggle. I personally started therapy for this exact reason, figuring out how to manage my relationships. I I had to make a decision to either step away from some relationships or do the work to make these connections more healthy so I can thrive and focus on pursuing literally one of the highest degrees offered on this planet. And it hasn't been easy. I'm going to be for real. Like, I've made some mistakes along the way, but I didn't realize how much emotional energy I saved by being honest with myself about the state of my relationships and communicating with my people about how to make positive changes in them. And shout out to my therapist. <laughs> anyway, let's do better for ourselves. Let's choose peace however we can. What is she even wearing makeup for? <laughs> I was supposed to say that I've helped it all, right? And guys, look at the nose ring. The, the bull ring hit in her nose. This chick's like a solid 380 pounds. Guys, these are the types of chicks that usually get PhDs. The only hot girls that I've ever seen get PhDs are usually like, you know, those, those, those hot Indian girls, right? There's a couple of Persian girls I know. You know, girls that are like, that are foreigners, you know what I'm saying? Where like, their family goes, you must go to grad school. You know what I'm saying? But they managed to get married. Guys, it's a B-dub thing or a Becky thing to where they figure out that they cannot get married in grad school. Most of the girls I know who are Asian, Indian, or whatever, got married in grad school. This chick is cooked. And she's in therapy too. Good luck. Good luck. She's cooked. And guys, her hashtags, hashtag PhD journey, hashtag grad school tips, hashtag women in STEM, hashtag toxic relationships, clown world. Before I started my master's degree, my therapist- They go doing this stupid makeup again, guys. Why? Why is this an acceptable thing to do on the internet? Why? Warned me that dating would become exponentially harder. And I don't know if I thought I would be the lucky exception or this rule wouldn't apply to me, but she was totally right. The way men get so unbelievably intimidated as soon as I tell them that I'm pursuing a degree in neuroscience. There it is, guys. She says men are intimidated by her degree. You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. Bamboozled. Let us stray. Run amok. Clown world. Guys, we are not 
intimidated by a stupid degree that you're going to probably try and have kids with some dude and not want to use anyways. What's the point? It's all the debt. It's attitude. It's the fact that you even men are intimidated. That mindset comes from these chicks who have degrees. It's absolutely wild. I also want to preface this by no means do I ever want to discourage any woman from pursuing a higher education because I think that if you have the abilities and desire, you absolutely should. And the best investment you can ever make is in yourself. So please do that. I think the problem is twofold because I think some men get intimidated, some, not all, some men get intimidated by women who are not only beautiful, but are also incredibly intelligent. And they go out of their way to try and diminish that or be- I hope she doesn't count herself in that category, right? Right, guys? The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> ...towards you or try to put you down. I think that the second problem is, is your dating pool shrinks a lot because the majority of men will not be on the same level as you intellectually, and you're gonna find it really hard to connect and relate to them. I work part-time as a bartender downtown Toronto, and I work in the financial district, so I serve a lot of lovely gentlemen, which is fun. Like, honestly, I really love our clientele and I actually really enjoy working in the service industry. But the other day I started this conversation with these two gentlemen that I was serving at the bar and they asked me what I do. And I told them that I'm getting my master's in neuroscience. And I tell you that their demeanor switched immediately. They were so triggered, so upset by the concept that I was getting a higher level education. Guys, pump the brakes. <laughs> I'll take things that didn't happen for 500, Alex. Please, as if. Guys, this is all cap. To think that there's two guys having beers. Let's just say you're out with your friend. You're having beers. Hey, wait, wait, just, so what do you do? I'm in school for neuroscience. How dare you? Come on. And guys, do you notice, once again, she said, these guys aren't on the same level as you... Intellectually, as if a PhD means you're smart. Guys, some of the smartest people I know, the most intelligent people I know, don't even have bachelor's degrees. I know a guy, he makes 350 grand a year. He doesn't even have a college degree. I know a guy, he taught himself how to play like seven instruments, just taught himself and started recording music at like himself. He's a genius. A PhD doesn't automatically make you more intelligent than anyone else. It just means that you did the work. Clown world. So upset that my priorities were focused on school and not finding a man was insane. Clown they world. They started yelling at me, getting so defensive, getting so upset, telling me that this is exactly what is wrong with women from my generation. I looked them dead in the face and asked them if they had one single friend in their group in that they knew who wasn't cheating on their wife. Quickly, they couldn't even answer. This is Cap! I said, do you think it is better for me to be in a relationship where I'm being cheated on, emotionally abused, etc., etc., just so I can procreate? And they said yes. And there you go, guys. That's how you know this is Cap. And then there has, I know that I'm pausing this a lot, but guys, this is these knuckle-headed college-educated chicks right here. Either they're single or they're in some relationship where they're getting beat up and cheated on. Clown world. And this is why no one wants these chicks. This smug attitude, this misandrous attitude, and this victimhood mindset, guys. Clown world. It was precisely at that moment that I remembered that they still had a $300 tab open and they hadn't paid me yet. So I said, you know what? You're right. I will consider it. Not to mention that one of the biggest points of contention almost every single date I've had in the last year and a half has been how am I going to manage having children on top of such a heavy workload? Or would I consider being a stay-at-home mother? And to be honest, I don't hate the idea of being a stay-at-home mother. But if I ever do decide to be a stay-at-home mother, it will be completely- Gosh, she looks like the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> With the green face. <laughs> Where are your flying monkeys, dude? Seriously. From my volition and only that. And there you go. Having this conversation she said that she would consider being a stay-at-home 
Oh, mom, so why are you even doing a master's in neuroscience anyways? A friend the other day, and she was just reminding me how the most important qualities to look for in a man are confidence and integrity. Someone who is going to cherish and nurture your intelligence and not put you down and listen to you and make you feel heard and seen and excited by the things that you know, as opposed to intimidated. Luckily, I'm a very blessed person and I've been surrounded by a lot of wonderful examples of men who are secure within their manhood, who have a lot of integrity, who are very confident, so I know for a fact that it does exist. My brother, who's an engineer and who's also very intelligent and kind and such a wonderful man, always reminds me that even though sometimes it may seem that the dating pool is shrinking, actually the dating pool is actually just getting better in quality. I think ultimately the most important thing that you can possibly remember is to never settle and to always hold yourself to the highest ever standard because I promise you that these good, wonderful, amazing people do exist. And while I can totally sympathize with how hard dating can be, always remember that you are the prize, you are valuable, and never, ever, ever buckle on your boundaries because that is the only way that you're going to find somebody who cherishes you and values you. And you know what? If you don't, being single is always better. So before I hope there's a whole lot of cat food in her apartment. <laughs> you guys notice how she's a bartender? She has this smug attitude. So she works in a, in a financial district where there's men, probably like stockbrokers, guys that can buy and sell her, and she still has this oh, pip off attitude. Like she's better than everyone else. Guys, stay away from chicks like this. This is everything I've ever talked about with chicks that are these uber liberal. She probably has these, uses these pronouns, right? Has student loan debt. Is trying to get this master's degree, right guys? Guys, never ever deal with girls like this, ever. Ever. And still talks about considering being a single mom and has 1,500 pounds of makeup on. Come on, guys. It says she's beautiful. She's a five at, at best. And all these knuckleheaded broads in her comments, yes, queen, that's everything. I love you. You're beautiful. And guys, her hashtags, hashtag dating, hashtag Toronto, hashtag single, hashtag bartender, hashtag PhD, hashtag grad school, hashtag grad, grad student. The fact that these chicks think that men are Intimidated shows how delusional they actually are. Men are only intimidated by people that can that can mess with our money or kick the shit out of us. So, all right, you guys, AJ, appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, and I'm out of here, guys. Have a good one.